Hey everybody, welcome back. So, the last, one of the, I don't know, two videos ago or something like that, I did a uh, look what I got off eBay type of, um, of, of video. And this was, this was the one most exciting kit, at least that I had gotten on that haul. And, as a matter of fact, my whole collection, I would say this is probably the most the neatest one at least to me because it's got such age to it it's 1965 and it's in its original plastic um just just so very cool the connection uh, my dad built one like this other than it was the newer testers version not the imc same kit but but i i said in that video i said i would i would never i would never open this kit up it would never get opened that I was just going to be the caretaker of it, caretaker of it, and I wouldn't open it. Well, you just don't know how bad I want to get into this thing. So, darn it! Instead, I just bought another one that was already opened. So, ha! Scared you, didn't I? Um, so I bought this kit. Notice the difference in the colors. I think this one may be sun faded or something like that, but it's the same exact kit. Um, exact same kit. Not a thing different, but the color of the box is a little discolored. So I, I saw this one, and I got it much cheaper than I got the one with the plastic on it. And I said, you know what? I can actually be able to open one. And when I saw the pictures on eBay... It looked like that this kit had just been basically just the plastic taken off it. It really it looked like it had never been taken out of the box. I'm not sure of that. All I've done so far is when I took this out of the of its shipping box, I took the top off and it there it lay. So what I want to do now is for my own sake, because I think this is the most it's just so cool, it's like a time capsule, is I'm going to open it and I want to go through and look at the parts. So here we go. And this one's in really good shape too, so I'll be able to have one that I could, you know, have been looked that I could say I looked at it. So check out those cool inst instructions with the yellow. They've got yellow paint on the old car. Man, these things are so brown. I, I guess you can probably tell by the video. So brown. It's like an old newspaper is what it looks like. So here's some some other other IMC kits gives you information on it and just the build instructions really really cool you can tell these have never never been bothered they're in perfect condition and there is the yellow styrene so let's see the door okay so they're opening doors so there are the door panels here There's the chassis. It, it doesn't seem... A lot of times you'll get an old kit and the styrene seems to be really, really hard and brittle. This doesn't feel that way. It still feels fine. Here's the roof. So as I'm... Right now, it just crossed my mind. I, I'm, I'm going to try and find one of these that's just a parts car because I want to restore my dad's the one back in the junkyard video that I had my dad I've got one of my dad's old cars and it's this and I remember when he built it and it was so cool I have so many memories attached to that I wanted to find one that had enough parts to fix and restore his but I don't want to use a, a complete kit like this especially one with this is an older one my dad's was like 1983 or 85 and it was testers um, anyway I've got to find another one and it won't be hard there's there's these are readily available but anyway so it's got a two-piece body I see it's got the back portion and uh, it just fits just fits right on there like no problem I have like I say I've heard that these were just hard to build but I don't know I don't know I probably will never build this one either you know me I don't build anything that's old there's the firewall seats I think this has possibly been unboxed before because some of the parts like the seats just lay in there. That's the back seat. There's your front seats. 
But look how everything, for the most part, is on the trees. There's a door, outside door panel. There's your front seats. There's the boot for the convertible top, front windshield, hood, a few loose pieces. Oh, there's a belt right there. Don't want to lose that little guy. So yeah, this is just like a time capsule to me. Holy cow, I'm seeing something that I like. Um, there's your, looks like the rear inside quarters. Uh, here's the, here's a, here's an engine. It's uh, the 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 dashboard, the intake for the old flathead oil pan. That does not look like. That does not look like a flathead intake for two four barrels. And what I said, I I see something I like. Look at the little parts. You see those valve covers? Those look like. What the heck do they look? Like? I don't have my glasses on right now, so I can't really see what's on them. I thought they looked like 427 Ford valve covers but I'm not a hundred percent sure maybe they are I don't know maybe I'm mistaken there's a intake fuel injection intake here's two carburetors I didn't know this kit came like that let's see but you know what it does have a in the instructions it does have like a hot it shows on building like a hot rod version let's see Oh, it is a 427. It is. Okay. 427 Ford. Okay. Did not even see that when I opened it up. So yeah, 427. How cool is that? I don't know if the tester's kit comes with the Ford, with the Ford 27 optional. I'm not sure if it does or not. I have to check that out because I have a tester's kit that is open, still in the plastic, but open. And I have to check that out. Anyway, calm down, Matthew. Calm down. Now this... I've noticed it had, oh, it's a chop top. That's what that is. Okay. So the custom version, you can, you can glue on the chop top because it's a convertible. Was there two tops? Okay. So I don't know. Maybe the chop top of addition is just the windshield. They don't give you another top. Here's the old, there's the headers for the 427 steering wheel, rear axle battery different little parts here's the front of the 427 that big timing chain cover that the 427 had okay. so i'm convinced that this has been opened oh yeah 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 i'm fixing to show you something that's not good oh well um there's the rest of the other underside parts exhaust other part of the differential engine halves flathead engine halves right here and oh boy i'm disappointed but uh, that's how it goes this thing's old check this out there's my windshield <laughs> can you tell what that mark is does it look anything like maybe a tire yeah darn it i guess i have to find another windshield not like i'm gonna build it but dang and there's your your event glasses, I guess, for the chop or the non chop, and the other and the other uh, windshield for the chop top, which also has a huge big old mark on it. White walls that are totally no good. And oh wow, check this out. Okay, so it's got the stock tires right here, solid rubber, just solid rubber tires. And then it's got these drag slicks. It's cool. Old fashioned. Which that was up to date in the day. The old flat radio, or I mean a uh, bias supply, like, which I mean, maybe drag tires are bias supply. And here's the chrome, which I wouldn't use anyway. I would uh, probably use bare metal foil, but anyway, there's the chrome that came with it, which is pretty unique that it came with chrome. And some other um, just loose parts, and there's your decals from 1965. Pretty cool. Totally shot. No good, but neat to 
to have just for their just for the age and like I say some other off the tree parts in here hopefully everything's there darn there's a there's the radiator and it's got a big old tire mark on it maybe i will use this thing for the parts car oh well all right well hey guys that is the box opening for the 48 Ford convertible that i was so excited to open because i didn't want to bust the plastic on this one and i'm not going to this one's got everything in it it doesn't even make a noise hardly when you shake it it's so tight in there but i just wanted to do that quickly on, on a video and let you guys see it i didn't even look at the wheels sorry custom wheels right there pretty darn cool 1965 styrene chrome wheel set very cool but anyway all right now i'm done so thanks guys for watching this unboxing hope you're ex as excited as i was when i got this in i was like i gotta go right now just i just got home from work so this is this is immediately when i got home from work i come out here to to do this video for you guys and for myself because i wanted to check it out too so all right that is a uh that's a wrap 48 4 convertible by imc 1965 if you look at scale mates and um It'd probably be a challenge to build it, but maybe I'll use some of these parts to restore my dad's. I don't know. I don't know. I kind of still feel bad because it is a complete, seems to be a com absolutely complete kit. I might just try to rebox it. Will I ever get every part to go back in there like it came out? Probably not. The box will probably never shut right. But anyway, hey guys, if you have not already subscribed, please go subscribe. And if you have not already gone to Hobby Nut Models, go to hobby nut models and if you have not already gone to our facebook group and joined go to our facebook group and join those links will be in the description below also don't forget you can get a, a t-shirt from model car videos it looks so cool you can get a t-shirt a cup a sticker a glass a hoodie um i'm sure there's something else on there but there's all kind of stuff several different designs thanks to my friend thanks to my friend mike he's helped me out tremendously on that and um Go over there and purchase one of those. It will help so much to continue to be able to provide content on this channel. Um, also, I do plan, so really quick, the show in Warner Robins on this Saturday, September the 25th, has been postponed, canceled, really, because of, uh, um, I'm not going to say that word. I don't even like to hear it anymore. But anyway, it's been canceled. Um, however, the show in... Um, North Charleston, South Carolina, which I put a banner up on my last video. I might do it again. I may put a banner up right here, right here. Is uh, as far as I know, is still a go. It's South Carolina Modelers Association or something like that. Um, I plan on going to that one. That's October the second in North Charleston, South Carolina. So I do plan on going to that. So if uh, if you go to it, hit me up meet each other other than, other than that i'm done with this video i probably already made it way too long for what it is um so yeah guys thanks for watching thanks for your support thanks for all you do in helping me grow this channel i appreciate it and we will see you on the next video you guys take care bye